Hi, everyone. Let's take a look at number seven on page 386. Suppose that 65% of the families in a town own computers. If eight families are surveyed at random, part A, what is the probability that at least four own computers? Step one, use the indirect method. Again, in general, there are two methods to solve these type of problems. The first method is called the direct method, and the second one is called the indirect method. And I would say that indirect method is slightly faster on average. Now, indirect method means you take all combinations, which we define as 100% or 1, minus the opposite of at least four own computers. So this means you're taking the probability of x less or equal to 3. So again, <clears throat> this means you're going to take 1 minus p of 0 minus p of 1 minus p of 2 minus p of 3. Now, what does that really mean? Again, if you take a full step back, you should recognize this is an example of a binomial distribution. So again, there are different types of distributions you should think about in general. And the one that we're looking at is going to be under binomial distribution. Again, what that really means is you can define P and Q to be successful and not successful. So in this case, 65% of the families own a computer, which means it's going to be 0.65. Recognizing that Q is going to be 1 minus P, this means Q is going to be 1 minus 0.65, which is 0.35. So again, P plus Q adds up to 1, which means 65% plus 35% equals to 100%. Also, there are eight families. So in this problem, n is going to be 8. What about x? It ranges from 0 to 3. So we're going to look at 0, 1, 2, 3 in a moment. So again, the last thing I'm going to write down for you before we continue is to recognize that for a binomial distribution, the formula is going to be n choose x times p to the power of x times q to the power of n minus x. Let's go back and keep going. So it's going to be 1 minus the probability of 0 is going to be basically 8 choose 0 times 0.65 to the power of 0 times 0.35 to the power of 8 minus 0, which is 8, minus p of 1 is going to be 8 choose 1 times 0.65 to the power of 1 times 0.35 to the power of 8 minus 1, which is 7, minus, so as you can see, I'm running out of space here. Let's see if I can write it here for you. Minus 8 choose 2 times 0.65 to the power of 2 times 0.35 to the power of 8 minus 2, which is 6, minus p of 3 which is basically 8 choose 3. I just realized I wrote this in the exact opposite sequence. It's 8 choose 2. Let's try again. 8 choose 2. This is 8 choose 3. 0. 0.65 to the power of 3 times 0. 0.35 to the power of 8 minus 3, which is 5. So pause the video, grab the calculator. When you work it out and you're ready, press play again. I'll be here. Welcome back. When you work it out in the display, I see 0 0.89390901951. If I round this to two decimals, it's going to be approximately 0.89 or 89%. So that's how you solve part A. Now for your reference, I'm going to switch colors for part B. What is the expected number of families with computers? So I'm going to erase some of this in the corner here and fit part B in for you right here. So again, you know, for part B, you're thinking about the expected value. And because we recognize it's going to be binomial distribution, there's a formula that we can use, which is n times p. So in this case, n is going to be 8, p is going to be 0.65. Again, you can grab the calculator or do mental math. And this is going to be approximately, or I should say exactly, 5.2. If you find this video meaningful, it's adding value to your math life. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. I hope this makes sense.